Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. It is Easter weekend. Are you having fun? Do you have lots of family activities planned? We have some and I'm hoping that today I give you some ideas uh, for some other fun in your kitchen with your family. Um, so welcome, glad you're here. Uh, I'm my, I'm doing, I got so much going on. Two different screens, gotta see what's going on. Um, I have my beautiful, I'm gonna tilt down just a bit. Look at that. Look at this beautiful, I'm gonna lift it up. Look, is that gorgeous? That, in case you all didn't know, is a Polish, Polish egg hand-blown, hand-decorated from Poland. Isn't that gorgeous? And then sitting, I have it sitting in my little tray on a little stand. And then this has been on this table. And then I have these little wooden eggs. Good morning, Debbie. Hi, Janet. Look at these eggs. Are these gorgeous? These are wooden eggs. I got a couple of those. Hey, Joan. And uh, so this has been my table decoration throughout Easter, right? Pretty, huh? Pretty, pretty. This to me looks, um, this egg, to me, it just looks regal, right? It looks like it belongs, good morning, Esther. It looks like it belongs on royalty, right? Look at that, I just think it's just fantastic. Good morning, Rebecca, happy Easter. Hey, Joanne. Um, this came in my uh, more Polish pottery Easter box. So I was very excited to get this. And doesn't that just look regal, grand? Anyway, so this has been my centerpiece. Good morning from Utah. Wayne, good to see you. So this has been my centerpiece uh, for Easter. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I, I know several of you have seen it. Hey, Gail, it's sunny in Chicago. That's good. It was rainy the other day or cold. All right, I'm going to set this back over here. And then I have to put on my glasses, right? Because it's, it's that weekend. So what do you think? Do you think it's me? Good morning, just got up and made your grandkids baskets. Oh, the girls got some wooden eggs, great. Thank you, Rebecca. You guys have, um, you guys always decorate so much better than I do. I, I have no decorating skills, but luckily with pretty Polish pottery, I don't have to have too many skills. Good morning, Alice, how are you? Good to see you, happy Easter. Well, um, everybody have your coffee this morning? I like the glasses too. You know what, I got them and uh, I put them on the Easter tree because remember I never took down the Christmas tree. So I had a Valentine's tree and now I have an Easter tree. So there you go. Upper 60s today, 70s tomorrow. Oh, you're warming up in Chicago. I make a cute bunny. I, I have the little teeth. <laughs> good morning, Deborah. Cindy, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while, hope you're doing all right. Okay, so you guys know that on Cindy's Kitchen, oh, I didn't even say, if you're brand new, are you brand new? We are a cooking community here at Cindy's Kitchen. That means we talk a lot. People chat, people share recipes, uh, give tips, uh, help me through my recipes. And hopefully we all laugh and have a good time because that's what we want. Hopping in to say hi from Michigan. <laughs> good morning, Charlene. Um, and so if you're brand new, if you're just, if you've never joined us before, or if you have, make sure you say good morning, say hello, and tell us where you're from. We always love that. Although I have to tell you, so on, on, uh, when we had our show on April Fool's on, on Thursday, was it Thursday or Tuesday? Thursday. Anyway, somebody posted hello from Antarctica. And I was so excited. I was like, oh, we've never had anybody watch from Antarctica. Oh my gosh. Told Jessica, she's like over marking it on the map. We're all excited. It was Vicky's sister doing an April Fool's joke on me. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Terry. Finally having Christmas with your children this weekend. That's fantastic. All right, so let's get started. Um, I will say, you know that Saturday is adult beverage day. We normally do adult beverage on Saturday. So um, you're from Wisconsin, Charlene, great. Glad you're here. Um, and so adult beverage today, instead of making one, I'm just adding stuff to my coffee. Look at my cup, isn't that gorgeous? I thought that was Easter-y, is that a word? Easter-y, 
all the pretty flowers and colors. It made me happy this morning. I don't know where this is from. This is a ceramic artist stitched, uh, and I can't read that far. So there you go. Ah! All right, so what I thought I'd do, I found something new. It's probably not new to you, but I'd never seen it. And it's called Bailey's Scrumptious Salted Caramel. <gasps> Bailey's Salted, no, Scrumptious Salted Caramel. So I decided we needed a little bit of that in our coffee this morning. I didn't bring my shot glass over, so we'll just, we'll just pour. So there you go, into my coffee. It is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let me get a, I don't have a stirrer over here either. Let me get a, we'll just, we'll use a spatula. I'll use the bottom end and stir into my coffee. Mm. Oh, Joanne, have you had it? I've never, I had never had it until yesterday. Mmm. So lovely. So lovely. Everybody needs a little Bailey's scrumptious salted caramel in their coffee. Uh, yum. It is. So, uh, my daughter's here. Can I help you? Oh, you're just leaving? Okay. Sorry. Mmm. All right. The glasses are coming off. Oh, there's noise everywhere. All right. Jessica's got to turn her volume off. <clears throat> All right. So, here's what we're going to do today. You got it at Costco a few weeks ago. Oh, he needs to, Philip's on the phone. That's the noise I heard. So he needs to go to the bedroom. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, I'm using, cause I'm gonna have pots over here and I just wanted to show off. I didn't make any of these. These have been gifts over the years, but I thought they were really pretty. These are crocheted, uh, you know, little pot holders or things like that. So there's that one. Here's like a little Easter eggy looking one. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's so pretty. Now, obviously, if you ever make pot holders, crocheted pot holders or knitted pot holders, always make sure you use cotton yarn, not acrylic yarn, use cotton. And then somebody, this one, look, has a hand thing. You can stick your hand in there and do that, but I'm just using it here. Okay, I'm gonna move you closer over here because we're gonna be using the stove. Good morning, Floyd. I know that I could have made something like a ham or something like that for Easter dinner. But I decided we were gonna be a little fun today. I have two big pots on the stove and I've got in each one a stick and a half of butter. So a stick and a half of butter, a, half, a stick of butter is a half a cup. So we're gonna need use another half so that's three fourths of a cup of butter. That's a lot of butter. What are we adding to the butter? Did you guys see the description? Did anybody guess what it was? I tried to use the scientific names. And so maybe you would go, ooh. That last one looked, oh, you know what? Maybe it is a tortilla warmer. I don't know. I, I thought it was a, okay, well. I think it has multi-use. Terry, we could shove our tortillas in there or our hands. That's what I'm using it for. Okay, so uh, let, me, let me get our, oh wait, I lost it. Here we go. Had to find the skizzers. My kitchen skizzers. All right, here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some marshmallows. Marshmallows, marshmallows. Yum. Now these are just the plain white ones. Then we have, look at these. The, well, you can't really tell, can you? These are pink and white. I kind of like that. Yes, Gail, you guessed, right? All right, you thought it was a tortilla warmer too? All right, so these are pink and white. I'm making two different batches of crispy treats. Now, uh, so I'm melting my butter. I need to turn that down just a little bit. You know me, when I cook, it's either on high or off. Do you do that where you're supposed to do like medium high or low? Mine is usually, oh, crud. Are you there? Okay, we lost our light, sorry. The light is usually plugged into the extension cord, but of course the extension cord is heavier than the light cord. So the light cord got pulled off the table, yanked out of the extension cord, and poof, I thought I lost you. <laughs> All right, because you know, not a professional show, it's just Cindy's Kitchen. All right, so we're making crispy treats, but we're gonna do something a little different because, you know, you know. Um, 
Hello, Mary Jo. Good to see you. All right, so I've got a stick and a half of butter in each one of my, my pots. Um, this is 16 ounces of white mini marshmallows. After our butter has melted, then we're going to dump these into there. I know, it should be fun. All right, so we gotta we gotta let our butter melt. I'm gonna I'm gonna stack the marshmallows against you. Hold the marshmallows, okay? Good morning, mom. Good to see you. Now the other marshmallows. Here are these. These are only ten ounces. That's all we. You know, it was it was slim pickings on the marshmallow aisle at the grocery store, and these are a little bigger, but pink. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do. Our only other was, hmm. they also had, oh, Mary Jo's your sister. That's so cool. These little baby ones. They're, but they're multicolored. But I'm going to use those too um, so that I have enough marshmallows. 16 ounces is probably a good, a good thing. All right. The butter, she be bubbling. The butter, she be bubbling. So Terry knows my mom because Terry and I went to high school together. We went to junior high, we went to high school, the whole shebang, drill team. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my colored ones first. Uh, I'm gonna put the colored ones in the purple pot. You remember that, okay? So these little bitty bags are just, they're not enough, but you know. All right, and then our big, our bag of the pink and white. So those are gonna be our colorful ones. And then we're going to put our regular white marshmallows into this one. Those are all minis. Now, stirring our, stirring our marshmallows requires, I think, a rubber spatula. I know that some of you may use, uh, you know, I love my wooden ones, but really, marshmallow sticks to everything. So I'm gonna use two different ones. I'm gonna use the purple one in the purple pan and the red one on the red pan. <laughs> that way I can remember. And I'm gonna use two of my little, um, these are actually um, uh, coasters, right? But I don't use them as coasters. I use them on top of my cup. Look, I use them on top of the cups, like when I'm making tea, the dogs, sorry. So I use them like that, or I use them as spoon rests because they're just the right size and I can get a whole bunch of them and have spoons everywhere. So there we go. Let's give it a stir, shall we? <clears throat> All right, I'm turning this down a little bit more. So probably medium, a little less than medium. Katie, good morning and welcome. All right, oh, I'm gonna move that over so you can see it in just a second after I stir this one. Stir. I feel like I should be a witch. Spray your spatula first. Oh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Is it too late? Let's see. Spray. Okay, there we go. Is it too late? There we go. All right. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it. See, everybody gives hints and tips. All right. Now, to each of these, we're going to add, as soon as they're all melted, we're going to add... Um, about nine cups of cereal, okay? I probably should have done these one at a time instead of, instead of both at the same time. That's probably not the smartest move. I figure the big marshmallows will take a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the cereal. While I'm getting the cereal, you guys get to tell me about the, this is the great debate. In your life, when you were growing up, did you refer to these as Rice crispy treats or rice crispies treat? Was there an S? Was it plural? Rice crispy treats or rice crispies treat? Tell me what you think it is or how you grew up saying it. Whilst I get the cereal. Okay, we have two kinds of cereal. This is the regular puffed rice that you know. And then I also got, it's like Fruity Pebbles, but it's called Dino Bites. Dino bites. So there we go. I'm gonna, because I wanted different colors. I wanted different colors. Rice crispy treats. Cindy, see, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, okay, this one goes here. 
Oh, looking good. The white one is looking good. Let me give that another stir and I'll show you. We're almost there on the white one. Look, look, look. Look. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, let's see. Right, no S on the end. We're not plural. Okay, so far, I'm not seeing a lot of plurals out there. Where are my S folks? All right, I'm gonna give this another stir. Because really, this one had the big marshmallows. Rice Krispies, oh, Sherilyn said with the S. So far, we only have one Esser. That sounds naughty, doesn't it, that I called her an Esser. All right, so you see, this has a little bit more to go. We can still see pink and white, and really, we just want pink. All right? And so, we're gonna put about nine cups of cereal in both of them. I'm just trying to break up the white ones over. Rice crispy. Okay, so right now, there is only one of you that says the plural. So one night, I'm telling you the story. Okay, this one's done. Off, off. Before I put my cereal in, I'm gonna put, look at that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Before I put my cereal in, I am going to put a pinch of salt in both of these. I'm telling you, it's magical. I know you may not have done this, just a tiny pinch. And then we're also gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla from Cindy's Kitchen. Uh, I'm from Battle Creek, there's an S, Kellogg's of Battle Creek, ah, <laughs> Kathleen. So a teaspoon in both of those. So that's all we added, our salt and our vanilla. Now when you do that, let's make sure that we've all, you're right, it should not have an S, I wasn't thinking. No, actually, Sherilyn, I'm gonna tell you the story as I get the cereal in all of these. Here's the story. One night, I was watching an episode of um, Madam Secretary, which I just must say is was one of my favorite shows. And in the midst, okay, I'm gonna move this over here so you can see, and I'm gonna push you back a bit. Uh, we're gonna start with the, the pink, and I'm gonna put the clear, the, the plain ones in here. Anyway, so I'm watching the episode, though I've lost the scissors. Oh, here we go. Um, in the episode, they're eating the treats, and they keep saying Rice Krispies treats. I mean, and it's obvious, like Rice Krispies treats. And I'm, I keep sitting there going, why do they say it that way? That's wrong. Okay, about nine, one. Um, and so I kept watching, kept watching, and it bugged me. Do you ever do that? Three, I hope. I'm talking and can't count four, five, six. Those aren't really full, are they? Seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Anyhow, it bugged me. Happy Easter Eve, Nina. Bugged me, bugged me. This is the colored one, purple. So I had to look it up. Do you do that? Do you watch TV shows and they say something and you're like, that doesn't sound right. I'm not sure. Diane, good to see you. Hi, Rhonda. And so I Google, of course, you know, when I was growing up, there was no Google. So, you know, everything had to be um, in your Encyclopedia Britannica. If it wasn't in the Encyclopedia Britannica on your bookshelves, there was no way to find it out. You're making them today with spring colored. There you go. That's why I thought I'd use the, um, ooh, look at that. Look, ta and da. It made them a little pink, you can't say. T. Leon, I know. I love that show. All right, here's our plain white. This was just our white marshmallows. And to that, we're gonna add, I mean, normally you would probably use Fruity Pebbles, but I'm using Fruity Dino Bites because we go through a lot of cereal in this house and it's just cheaper to do it this way. Okay. Big, oh, have you ever made pancakes with Fruity Pebbles? So good. All right, nine again, two. Anyway, so I looked it up and lo and behold, there is an S on it. And you wanna know why? Four, hold on, five. <laughs> uh, I'll probably miscount it already. Uh, do you wanna know why? Because it's, I think it's two more. I hope I don't have too many in here. <laughs> I just kept putting cereal in um, because the cereal is called Rice Krispies. 
plural, right? It's not Rice crispy. although could this be a Rice crispy? just a single one? I don't know, but anyway, the box has plural. So if you actually look um, on how they're, uh, on how, what they're spelled, if you look at a box, like if you didn't make these from scratch, and instead you just bought a box of the pre-made ones, if you look at the box, it says Rice Krispies treats. I just, it just kind of freaked me out because I never heard of that. I just never have. Now, as you, as you can see, this one's a little bit getting harder to stir. Maybe I, I don't know if how much cereal I put in here. Got to get to the bottom and get all that marshmallow goodness on the bottom. As you can see, I did not tra uh, transfer all this to a bowl. Okay, this is kind of a sticky mess anyway, and I just didn't want to make more dishes. And if so, if you have a big Dutch oven, soup pot, whatever, if you do it that way, then it's all in one pot. Now, I'm gonna set this aside, and now I gotta get out what we're gonna put these in. We should taste. Mmm, 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 yum. All right. Usually a nine by two tomantis. Two tomantis, mom, I don't know what that means. All right, usually a nine by 13, but I'm using this square one because it has little peach daisies and it makes me happy. And then I'm also using this one, which is a rectangle, um, but it had, look at that pretty, that pretty pink and purple. And you know, there's so few purple in Polish pottery. So anyway, there you go. You made it, Linda Sue, good to see you. Too many. Oh, I put too many in? Oh well. All right, parchment paper. If we wanna get these out easy, better to put a little parchment paper in the bottom of your doodah, your whatever plate. You used to make mine daily for Da Vinci's Cop. Oh, did you really? Now, I think you should spray your parchment paper, okay? Just give it a little spray. If you want it to stick to the pan, you can put a little bit in the bottom and then it sticks a little better. This one, I'm just gonna leave kind of folded and we're gonna spray that. Okay, ready? Mm, here we go. Um, I think I'm going to put ugh, the pink one in here. All right, so these are just the plain uh, rice cereal, Rice Krispies, if you will, although it wasn't, it was generic. I am, I am a cheap, cheap girl. Like if there is a generic, I am there. There are some things that matter on, on food. Like if you are buying a name brand or a generic, but I don't think this is one of them. But that's just me. You might have a different opinion. All right, so there is our pink ones. Oh, I just made a mess. Okay, well, I'll get that off later. Now, here's a hint. This one is, this one is gonna be lovely. Here's a hint. I used to, hey Carolyn, good to see you. I used to, when I'd be making these, um, oh, you can use your hands. You can spray and press down, but you know how I am about touching things. Um, I used to pack these in, right? So I would get them in and I would use my hands and I would press really hard all the way down. I want big ones. That's why this one's gonna be big. And so I would like push, 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 thinking that if I did that, it would make them, you know, stick together better. Um, but what happens is, you lose some of the mm, and the, you know, part of this is that pull apart, right? And if you smash them down together too much, then what can happen is they, they get a little too thin and you lose some of that nice airiness. So basically you're just pushing down enough to get it in the pan and kind of smooth on the top. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, Terry, it just helps with the non-sticking. All right, so here we go. Here's our other one. So let me get our other spatula. This is the one we made with the colored cereal, right? So, um, woo, <laughs> it just popped on out of there. I have to say, the smell of Fruity Pebbles. Oh, I like Fruity Pebbles. Uh, it was one of my daughter's favorites. So, you know, hello Rhonda, good to see you. All right. 
The hardest thing for me with old arthritis hands here is to hold the pot with one hand and scrape with the other. Old arthritis hands here are not is not moving well. Okay, so I have to ask, it is Easter weekend, and I realize that not everybody celebrates, um, well, it's Holy Week. I, I realize that not everybody celebrates, like, Holy Week, right? So, and I get that. Um, but for those uh, of you that do, I wish you a happy Holy Week for all that we are, um, as we spend tomorrow, being grateful and blessed for what has been done for us. So, I, I send that to you. And then... Um, for those that you don't, I hope you have a good Easter egg, huh? Oh, all of them. Oh, you know what? Jo uh, Joanne, I got the thing for you. Instead of using Rice Krispies, use Cocoa Pebbles. Uh-huh. You're like, what? Cindy, Cocoa Pebbles. Okay, this is a little stickier, so I'm actually going to use my hands. So spray a little cooking spray on your hands and then you can push them down. Again, it's a light push. It's not a shove it into the bottom, right? Which is kind of hard for me, because you know, I'm like, shove those down in there. Okay, so there we go. Whoops, this is really mm, sticky. I need a little more, because it's sticking. Okay, there we go. Maybe I needed more cereal and less marshmallow cream. It'll be fine. You know, that's the problem when you don't count. Okay. It's all over me. Oh, you gave up chocolate for Lent. Now, that is true faith, right? Giving up chocolate for Lent. I'm not Catholic. Or, you know, I, I usually... I don't do those things. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so what's everybody cooking? Ooh, chocolate chips, Donna. That sounds awesome. Okay, there's that one. Ugh. Hold on, I gotta get my little my little thing to wash my hands. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Now this is all lovely, right? And this would be awesome just the way you are, the way it is. I love you just the way you are. There you go. But we're gonna we're gonna spice up one of them. What's everybody cooking for Easter dinner? Nina's Episcopalian. Yep. I used to always please don't take offense. I was Episcopalian for a while, and I used to call it Catholic light. <laughs> Just a joke. Don't be offended. Okay, so um, now I'm Presbyterian. But quite frankly, we, I, when I was growing up, we went to the Lutheran church, then we went to the Methodist church, um, then I went to the Baptist church, then I was Episcopal, um, and went back to the Methodist church, and now I'm Presbyterian because I married a Presbyterian. <gasps> Smoking a big ham. Yum. Easter picnic at our farmhouse. Grilled burgers and hot dogs all outside of the barn. Oh, cool. Traditional dinner. Nothing. My mom and dad cook. Oh, Debbie, that's awesome. <gasps> Quiche and Polish soup. Oh, so sorry, dogs. All right, so I'm going to put these in the... The dogs, I'm telling you. I'm going to put these um, over here. Ham, scalloped potatoes, and mixed veggies. Yum. Lamb shanks. Oh. All right. I'll tell you what I'm making in just a bit. Here's, I'm going to get these out of the way. Now, those Rice Krispie treats, scallop potatoes. Going <gasps> filet mignon, risotto, tomato salad, and creme brulee. <gasps> We're all going to Terry's house. Oh, my goodness. That sounds phenomenal. I have another skillet or pan. It's a little wider. To this, I'm going to make a little frosting on top because really there's not enough sugar in the Rice Krispie treats already. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put uh, about a tablespoon or a little bit more of butter and we're going to melt our butter. See, high. It's either high or off. Scallop potatoes. Mm, I do love scallop potatoes. Now, to this, you can add baking chocolate, 20 of us. Haven't been together in a year and a half. Christmas beans. Is that like cowboy beans? What are Christmas beans? We're using almond bark. Why? Because that's what I had in the pantry. Two ounces. There's two 
Oh, okay. And so we need um, about six ounces, and I happen to have three of these, so that's what we're using. Baking chocolate would be good. Again, all I had was the almond bark, so that's what I'm using, see? Um, would you get me the hand doodah, please? Uh, we're gonna melt our butter. You got the butter? Now, I'm gonna give you a hint if this doesn't work all the way. And, and here's what it is. Hold on, let me get my little beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Um, if you've got the, the large, here, yeah, I'm gonna use, instead of my box grater, I'm gonna use my hand grater. If you've got the large chunks and you're afraid about getting them to melt properly, you can go ahead and grate it up. It takes, ooh, Polish sausage for breakfast, yum. Obviously, it takes a lot longer because you're doing one of these. Um, so, wholly up to you. I just wanted to give you the hint. I'm not doing it because it takes too long, right? So, I'm just going to pop these in there. Look, just dumped them in there. And then, you think that would be good. You have the exact pot holder? Do you really, Linda? Somebody made this for me. I think it's gorgeous. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. You think that the chocolate melted almond bark or melted chocolate would be enough, right? That would be enough. Uh, Sully, hello, um, would be enough, but no. Hey, Susan's watching. Susan, I have to tell you, the, the um, poppy seed roll thing, oh, it looked to die for. I wish I lived closer so I could taste it. Uh, yours was made as well. Okay, so here's, but here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of just the chocolate, chocolate, I'm gonna turn this down just a bit because I don't want it to burn. I'm also gonna add bark, barking, the dogs. I'm just, you use them as dish rags. Yeah, you can, obviously, you can use them as dish rags. I'm just using it as a pot holder today. I'm also at, look, it matches my other one. I'm also gonna add about a cup of butterscotch chips. <gasps> Do you think that'd be awesome? Chocolate and butterscotch, yum. Hey, Marilyn, good to see you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. Now, here is the issue you may face. Oh, I'm almost out of I have, I have a cup. How many butterscotch chips? I have a cup, that's it. Because now, my little container, she be empty. All right, sometimes you have trouble melting chocolate chips. And, the, and of course, chocolate chips aren't meant to be melted. Um, and so sometimes they'll get clumpy or, um, or they just won't melt. I'm going to get another spatula. Um, maybe we'll spray it again. We'll see what happens. There we go. Um, maybe they just won't melt very well. And the, and of course the reason is that chocolate chips are made to withstand heat and keep their shape, right? because you've seen chocolate chip cookies, right? They're in the oven 350 degrees for all that time, and yet the chocolate chips are whole. All right, so, so that they, it doesn't get clumpy and gross, um, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of liquid coconut oil. Ooh, ah, really, Cindy? Yes, about a tablespoon. What that'll do, now don't use just like canola oil or vegetable oil. I, I, I think it really has to be the coconut oil. And what this will do, I'll show you as I'm stirring, it'll keep it kind of glossy. See how glossy? Mm, ah. It'll keep it glossy, and um, you've got that oil in there, which will allow the heat to get a little higher. I love my homemade pot. They do, I, they make me happy too. I'm gonna tell you, I don't make pot holders, and the reason I don't make pot holders is not because I can't or I don't like them, because I do, it's because, like I said earlier, when you're making pot holders um, or any, you know, anything for the kitchen, really, you need to use cotton thread, cotton yarn, not acrylic. And so that stuff you see in the big things like Red Heart, and all, most of that is acrylic. What is that noise? Is he on the phone? Oh, anyway. All right, now, can you see? Look at this. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're just melting the chocolate and the butterscotch. Oh my gosh. Shh. 
And I think I'm gonna add a little vanilla to this as soon as I take it off, okay? Oh, glossy. All right, so the only thing, the chocolate is melted, or almond bark, right, is melted. The only thing that I'm giving a final smash to is the butterscotch chips. And had I just done the butter and not added the coconut oil, we might already be at a clumpy stage. And so that's the thing about doing it in the microwave. Um, it's like a timing issue. And sometimes if you, if it's too long, then you get this clumpy bleh, and it's hard to, to gum on. So, all right, I didn't get all of the butterscotch chips smushed and quite frankly, you know how I am. All right, so I think I am gonna add just a smidge of vanilla because, because, because. A smidge, so maybe a teaspoon. I always like that normally when I say a teaspoon, it's really a tablespoon, but this is a teaspoon. Oh, butterscotch, chocolate, and vanilla. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take hmm, these thick ones that we made that turned kind of pink. These were just the regular ones. They've kind of hardened up a bit. And then we're just gonna frost. Now this is gonna end up thick, which is fine, right? Look at that. Oh, it's almost like a fudge on the top. <gasps> Crispies, crispy treats with yumminess on the top. Look at that, it's like a big, oh, you can't see, can you? Let me tilt you down. You should be able to see yumminess. Okay, look at this. <gasps> oh my, yes. You wanna come over here, don't you? I have to show you what we're gonna have for um, Easter. Of course, you know, I wish it was my whole family. You know, like my mom and my sister and my niece and my nephew and her kids, but we're gonna, we're gonna wait a little bit until everybody gets their shots before we do that. So really just the kids and, uh, um, but we're gonna do a repeat of what we had for Christmas. And I know you guys are like, what did you have for Christmas? Does anybody remember what I made for our Christmas dinner? It was kind of special. I haven't made them in a long time. And um, I was at Sam's and I saw them and I was like, oh, that's what we're having for Christmas dinner. And so I made them, so good. All right, there we go. La, la, and la. You can set this aside. You can stick it in the fridgey and let it harden up a little bit. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chocolate, butterscotch, and vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yes, Cindy. That is right. Cindy's the winner. Ding, ding, ding. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Mmm. Brownies with melted Andy's mints on the top is frosting. Yum. Okay, so look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. Then, of course, you can take it out and put it on a tray. One moment, please. <laughs> Going to get my tray. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is my turkey platter. See how big it is? Joanne, are you jealous? Um, you used to make butterscotch scones for Da Vinci's. Oh, I love butterscotch. I really do. And butterscotch and chocolate, oh, just a little slice of heaven. Okay, um, I'll be right back. I need to get one more. <clears throat> okay, it's tray day in the Cindy house. Okay, so I'm gonna use this tray. Um, although, let me see, will it fit? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift. Can you see these? Because I put the paper, parchment paper, I can just lift them up. Really, they need to go in the refrigerator for a while. That being said. Okay, now obviously I gotta take them off the paper, but again, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. Before we do that, shall we taste? I think we shall. I'm just gonna cut off one of the edges. Then I'll put it back together, okay? So here we go. Oh, okay, first of all, there's the chocolate on the top. Look at the marshmallow pull, look. You see that, look at that, ooh, ah. That's a good marshmallow to crispy ratio. Mm, 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 mm. 
marshmallow, chocolate, butterscotch, vanilla. Mm hmm Okay. Mm. I'm putting that in the pan, back in the pan. Mm. So good. All right. Now, these will go cut in here. These are the, now we didn't frost these. I think that's okay. There's enough flavor in that. But these, I'm gonna take out and put over here. You know what, I still want them to set up. How about we just cut a piece and taste, shall we? Oh, but they're cutting. <gasps> oh. Now, I may have had more marshmallow. This may not be the perfect marshmallow. Look at that. <gasps> oh, that's what you want. I could buy a car with how much I spent on polished pottery. No. Maybe. Although I've been collecting Polish pottery for 10 years now, so. Um, you could be right. Mm, mm. Okay. Two different, totally different tastes, okay? If you, mm, 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 mm. The, the one with the fruity pebbles, or dino bites, whatever. So good. And really, all that fruit flavor in your mouth, and it reminds me of my childhood, right? Well, it reminds me of college. When I was growing up, my mother wouldn't let us have sweet cereal. Or my dad, somebody wouldn't. And so we only got the boring cereal that you had to add a lot of sugar on top of. So when I left the house to go to college, man, it was sugar cereal all the way. Just saying. Anyway, so the ones with the fruit, awesome. The other ones, Oh my gosh, though. Butterscotch and chocolate on the top? Oh, oh. So before we go, let me see. Well, now I can't find my lamb chops. They're gone. Well, I was gonna show you my lamb chops, but I've looked into the freezer and I cannot find them. It's for food to look, del it is. And it makes me happy. You know, like my cup, right, that we put. Was everybody here in the, at the beginning? This is what we had for adult beverage day. Bailey's Scrumptious Salted Caramel. And we just put some Bailey's Scrumptious Salted Caramel in my coffee. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Corn flakes and shredded wheat. Yeah, I think we had Rice Krispies, but just plain Rice Krispies. There's, you gotta put a lot of sugar on that. Anyway, big day today, right? I probably disappointed you. Maybe you were looking for a new ham recipe or some great side dish for Easter. And, and then I show up and I make crispy treats. Are you disappointed? I hope you're not disappointed. I just wanted us to have a little fun today. Um, if you, once these set up, I'll show you. Once these set up, again, I'll probably put them in the refrigerator for a little bit. Look at these. We got little cookie cutters. That's the rabbit. We have a cross. I see you. Uh, we have a carrot. Isn't that cute? And then the last one is supposed to be a lamb. Does that look like a lamb to you? Maybe. Bear. Or a bear. Jessica says it looks like a bear. Anyway, so after those set up, after they've been in the refrigerator for a little bit, then we might cut some shapes out. That would be fun, don't you think? All right, well, we're done. We've had a great Saturday. A little heads up for next week. Um, next week, Philip and I um, are, are having some fun. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Kelly, it's so good to see you. Kelly and I... I know, they are hard to eat. Kelly and I went to college together. Um, so, Philip and I are gonna have a little fun this next week, and so, that being said, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna try to do a short live from where we're having fun. It'll depend on the Wi-Fi. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And so, um, be watching for a live uh, I'll try to do it at the same time, but I, I don't know if I'll be able to because of Wi-Fi and all that. So keep an eye out uh, on Tuesday or Thursday and see what happens. I hope you guys have just a blessed Easter 
weekend, that you get to spend time with your family, um, that you, you truly give thanks for all the wonderful blessings that you have in your life. And quite frankly, you guys are one of the true blessings in my life. Thank you so much for watching. From my kitchen to yours, may everything you make be quick, easy, and of course, yummy. You guys have a great weekend. See you on Tuesday. Bye.